overcome your fear of being disliked. This might sound crazy talk, but the way to live a more satisfying, fulfilled life is by overcoming your fear of someone not liking you. In this world of perpetual likes on Instagram, on social media, it is almost antithetical to wanting to be disliked. But by being disliked and overcoming that fear, you live a freer, fulfilling, better life. It's your boy Max, and this video will be about overcoming your fear of being disliked. Before I get into this video, I wanted to take this time to talk about Maximus Moves, my health and wellness coaching service for others living with physical disabilities. Living with MD, I know how hard it is to find purpose and direction in life. Are you held back by self-limiting beliefs, thinking you'll never have the social life you want, the love life you want, or thinking fitness is totally out of the question? With my heart, mind, and body method, you will soon realize nothing is holding you back. Think of me as your older brother and accountability partner with a mission to improve your mind, body, and soul. So if you or someone you know is currently living with a physical disability, book a strategy session with me. Link to that is in the description below. And we will create a personalized workout and wellness program to take back control of your life. If you also want to join my private Facebook group for other like-minded individuals who want to take back control of their lives, link to that is also in the description below. And before I go any further, if you haven't already, smash that like button, comment, subscribe. As I already said, this video I will be talking about overcoming that fear of being disliked. I think a lot of us fall prey to this desire and need for approval for being liked. And a lot of times it actually makes us feel worst off in the end. And that's why I think not caring what other people think, overcoming that innate fear of people not liking you, is a very freeing thing to do. You're essentially overcoming your attachment to this idea that everyone all the time needs to like you. But as a matter of fact, that's unrealistic. There will be people that just won't like you. To them, you rub them the wrong way, and that is fine. A lot of times, we are living in this fear of what's going to happen if people don't like me, what do people think of me, and all of us go through that. All of us have this sort of insecurity of wanting to be liked and not wanting to be disliked, but if you have haters, as I said in a previous video, that's actually a good thing, and I think this is very similar to that, not being afraid to just Put yourself out there, not caring what other people think. Doing what you want to do. Being a freer person. Being a more self-actualized person should be the goal in all of our lives. Living to our fullest potential. And one way to do that is by not being afraid of being disliked. And as a matter of fact... It is actually good to have enemies. If you have enemies, it means, for the most part, you are doing something right. People are envious. People might be jealous. And that's not too bad. It means that there is something about you that makes people envious. There's something... That you have that other people don't have. And not being afraid to stand alone. Not being afraid to stand up on your own two feet. Is a very good thing to have. Obviously we're socialized to, be, to want to be liked. To want to be accepted by the group. Because back when we were hunter-gatherers. If you were disliked or ostracized it meant 
the difference between life and death. But nowadays, it doesn't mean that. It does not mean the same thing, but in a lot of our minds, we still, deep down, think that. And that's basically where that fear comes from. But by just not being afraid to say what you want, a lot of that comes from not being afraid of being disliked. And it takes time, it takes skill, but in the end, it shows how brave, how courageous you are. And a lot of times, we are doubting our true power, our true potential, and we are shortchanging ourselves. We all have, I believe, some sort of divine ability, some sort of powerful force within us that we don't even realize, that deep down we need to tap into. We need to tap into, one could call it our soul, or just a, a realer, truer essence of what we want to be. And a lot of that stems from not caring what other people think and having an identity that doesn't revolve around people-pleasing or caring what others think of you and what they have to say about you. Before I continue, I wanted to take this time to talk about supplements. More specifically, supplements I use every day. Whether it's creatine monohydrate to give me an extra boost to my workout, whey protein powder for my recovery, or hemp oil for pain and inflammation. I swear by them, and I recommend you add them to your daily routine as well. I also take CoQ10 to keep my heart healthy and lion's mane mushroom to keep my mind and memory in check. So if any of these supplements appeal to you and you're interested, links to all of them are in the description below. Now back to the video. And I'll just take this time again to remind you that if you haven't already, please smash that like button, comment, subscribe. And as I was talking about previously, we are talking about overcoming the fear of being disliked. Overcoming this fear and not being afraid of being disliked in modern day is a superpower. It is a trait that not a lot of people have. If you want to stand out, if you want to be different from most of the maddening crowd, what you need to do is suspend that fear of being disliked and you will find you will be living a freer, better life. Talking in terms of Buddhist philosophy, what this is, is an attachment that we need to conquer and overcome. And a lot of it might come from ego, might come from fear, insecurity. And I would argue that nothing is more powerful than standing on your own two feet, not being afraid to do what you want to do. And it's ironic I say on your two feet, being that I'm in a wheelchair and I can't walk, but I think we all understand what that means, that not being afraid, being alone, not being afraid to being who we are. A lot of times I think we are afraid to unleash the power that we have. We don't know if we can truly control it. But I think by thinking about it and reflecting, we all can manifest and become powerful, strong individuals. This channel is coming from someone that has a disability and I hope to motivate and inspire people living with disabilities, but my advice on this channel can be generalized and can help basically anyone. This channel, I also think, can be thought of as a motivational self-improvement channel, and part of that is talking about my journey and my journey of overcoming my own fear of being disliked. 
and not caring what other people have to say. Back in the day, I had really bad social anxiety. Back in high school, I was so scared to talk, to be myself, so scared that if I said the wrong thing, people wouldn't like me. And I'll tell you from personal experience, being enslaved to that fear was awful. By being less scared of that, by not necessarily caring what other people think, I have definitely lived a freer, happier, and healthier life. And that's just my own experience, but I'm sure some people have had similar experiences. And if you're still scared, if you're worried what people will think about you, that's fine. It's just you're at the beginning of your journey and there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of us deep down are scared of being disliked. And that's where it takes practice. That's where it takes being unafraid. That's where having courage to be your own person comes in. So I hope you liked this video. Again, please smash that like button, comment, subscribe. Until next time, it's your boy Max. Over and out.